Hey everyone, it's Zach, and at the time of recording, it is February 20th, one week away from Pokemon Day. So today I thought I would take a look and make some predictions on what I think this year's Pokemon Presents for Pokemon Day is going to have. Uh, just forewarning, I will be talking about some leaks for things like uh, the Paradox Pokemon that have been data mined from the games leaks for unite leaks for pokemon go which we all already know some made it metadata from the pokemon day website so if you are very spoiler sensitive i would back away now but these are going to be what i think i'm going to see and then some crazy predictions at the end if you guys enjoy this content do not forget to like and subscribe but let's jump into it so first off we're going to start pokemon day with the uh introduction from the ceo and we know that the theme, we've already seen this little trailer on Twitter, the theme is going to be playing together, Pokemon together. So I think the main reason why we're seeing play together is because they are being more connected than ever with Scarlet and Violet being the first games that where you can join another person in real time in their own game or they can join you in, their, in your game outside of the buddy feature, uh, partner feature, and let's go Pikachu and Eevee. So I think that these features with playing together, with the Unite being multiplayer, with Pokemon Go having raids, with uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet having raids, and then the connection features, I think that's what they're really gonna focus on on the playing together. They're gonna follow up with Pokemon Masters and Pokemon Cafe Remix, these I honestly really don't care about. Uh, so whatever they hold, cool. If you if you're excited for that, you're excited for that. If 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 you're not, you're not. Uh, next with the play together, I think we might see some Pokemon Quest. I think we might see Pokemon Quest, the features that have been part of the Chinese version, uh, might be added to Pokemon Quest for everyone else. This includes uh more Pokemon outside of the 151 player customization and PVP and some other features here. So I think we're, we'll definitely see some of that in this announcement that would breathe new life into Pokemon quest outside of China. And not to mention this is already done. Like there's already a version of this in China. So you just update it so it works everywhere else and that would give them a new game for the switch and for mobile platforms next we'll see pokemon go and pokemon unite pokemon unite has frequently been data mined so a lot of people already know the the next upcoming mons so we should hear about lapras gudra and eventually umbreon and chandelure we might only hear about two of these or we might hear about all four. Who knows um, if they're not already added to the game. I, I haven't played it in forever. For Pokemon Go, I wouldn't be surprised if we get news on how to catch Gimme Ghoul uh, going live immediately after the present where you can catch it and it will tell you how you can catch it. And I also think we we'll see another Paldean Mon jump into the game. I don't know which one. Let me know what you think or what you would like to see in Pokemon Go in the comments down below. But I think we'll get more information on this with the Pokemon Go connection and then some general overall Pokemon Go news. Next up for the Switch. It's very likely that we are going to get some Mystery Dungeon news being that Spike Chunsoft the developers of the Mystery Dungeon games have been in the metadata for the webpage celebrating Pokemon Day. So we're definitely going to at least hear about Mystery Dungeon. The question is, is it going to be a new game or is it going to be a DX version of an older game? Honestly, my bet is a DX version of the older games. We'll probably see a DX version of Explorers uh, of Time and Darkness combined as one game just like we did with uh rescue team but yeah my bet is on a remake remaster of the explorers games 
but who knows we could see a new game here i think people uh, mystery dungeon fans would be happy either way i do think they'd be happier with something new rather than a uh remake or a remaster but we will definitely see something here next up is scarlet and violet so scarlet and violet we haven't had news on what the six star terror rate is and my bet is what pokemon day coming out it's it's gonna be mewtwo we know that it's gonna be mewtwo they have already done charizard so that leaves the original legendary pokemon mewtwo to be the next terror raid what type is it gonna be i don't know my bet is on being a dark terror type reflecting on Mewtwo's, you know, prowess as the villain, kind of villain in the first movie. It does get access to Dark Pulse, or we could just see a Terra Psychic one being really strong here. So I I do think for the next six star raid, we will see Mewtwo. And then hopefully after that, we'll get Hisuian Pokemon. I think that would be cool. So the next thing is that we may see Game Boy and Game Boy Advance Pokemon games coming to NSO. We've seen through this video that Austin John reported on with uh, this person switching the emulators that these games already work in the NSO apps. So you can do the trading, all this and that. So these games are proven to already work on the switch now here's the thing will they come free will they come will the game boy games come with the base subscription and will the gba games come with the nso plus expansion pass possibly but that's my hopes my hopes is that they just come you don't have to pay extra for them and that they work with pokemon home in reality i think that the Ex they might have their own separate Pokemon expansion that is sold on their own. It could be a separate expansion, I think, where it functions just like the NSO uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance apps, but it's just for the Pokemon games. Or they might sell them piecemeal because you could just have this emulator be running for each individual game as its own purchase. So in all honesty i think if if they come at no additional price where you don't have where the only thing you have to pay is for the expansion pass if you don't have it already for the game boy advance games i i think it would be really shocking if you didn't have to pay any ex anything extra for it and that's that's all i gotta say about that last up is the dlc so we already have some leaked images uh, that have been data mined from the game. We've seen leaked moves accidentally leaked by Pokemon itself and its team setup for BGC content. But I think the DLC will come in two pieces. I think that we'll get the titles for both on Pokemon Day, but we'll only get some information on the first one. I think these will feature these Paradox Mons, Paradox Suicune and Paradox Verizion, and it will be in the area between Kalos and Paldea. I don't think we're gonna see Megas being involved, but who knows? But I do think you will need uh, these two Mons to face the third legendary that we've seen in the game uh, through like the books and stuff in the DLC part two. So that's, that's honestly my predictions. That's what I think we'll see, but some of my crazy predictions, other than the ones I've already stated, I think we could see a new Legends Unova or a Legends Johto. I'd be happy with either one in all honesty. Legends Unova would make sense uh, to see next because they could have Ilka work on a black and white remake, just like they did with BDSP or they could tie in the connection. Actually, they could tie in the connection for either of these mods with a Legends Unova or a Legends Johto with Suicune being from Johto and Verizion being from Unova. So I could see either one of those happening and I would be happy to get either one. I think we get no news on Pokemon Sleep. I, I think it's DOA, I think it's done. I think they 
probably came up with some issues on tracking people's sleep and what the phone has to record without additional software because most sleep tracking through your smartphone is usually done through like a smartwatch that you give permissions to. I think the Pokemon company trying to get those permissions as a separate app, it would be really hard and probably would probably put a lot of distrust from some people, some people not wanting to give a company permission. I think the GBA, once again, that GB and GBA games will be separate purchases. And I would really like Here's a hope for mine. I'd really like to see a new mythical mon being announced with a movie tie-in for late 2023. Because after Zerud, we haven't gotten any mythical Pokemons and we haven't gotten any movies in a while. So at least movies that also came to the US, I believe. So for that, like I wanna I wanna see those. But what do you think? What do you think we're going to see on Pokemon Day? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, this weekend, I will be going to Knoxville for a VGC tournament. So if you want to check out what I've been practicing with, that is on the channel as well. And that's going to be all. If you made it this far in the video, I want to say thanks for watching. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Zach. We'll see everyone later.